Hi, class. Um, <clears throat> this little video to show you a cute trick to help you um, reduce fractions quickly and easily. So just so that you know, um, reducing a fraction means to divide the numerator, that's the number on the top, and the denominator by the same number. And it has to be a number that divides both into the numerator equally and both into the denominator equally, with no remainder, I mean. So <clears throat> this is a trick. You take the smallest number, it doesn't, whatever it is, the numerator or the denominator, wherever the smallest number is, you find the smallest number, and you prime factor that number by factoring it out until you get down to its primes. Right, so 51, you find a number that multiplies two numbers that multiply to be 51. So <clears throat> one trick of any number, and this is just a side note too, is that whenever you add the digits, like the first digit is five and the second digit is one. So if you add the digits and you get a number that's divisible by, that three goes into equally with the remainder, then you know the whole number, 51 is divisible by three. So right away, I noticed that, that 51 is divisible by three. I wouldn't have known that. Otherwise, but 51 divided by three is 17. So I do three, so I know that 51 is three times 17. Three, I can't write three, I can't factor three, that is, into two numbers that multiply to be three other than three and one itself. So that means that three is prime. Because I cannot find two numbers that multiply to be three other than three and one in themselves. And the same thing is true for 17. If I try to think of two numbers that multiply to be 17, other than one and 17, there doesn't exist any. So 17 is also prime. So <clears throat> here's a trick. These prime numbers are the only numbers that I have to check and make sure that they don't go into the denominator. If these two numbers, the three and the 17, both don't divide into the denominator, then this fraction is reduced completely. So let's check. Does three go into two, six, five, two? So we just take a calculator, two, six, five, two, and divide by three, and it does. It goes in equally, um, and the answer is 883. So and this is something else that I recommend too. When you're dividing, I actually write out, I'm dividing the top by three and I'm dividing the bottom by three. I kind of write it like this so that I'm reminding myself what I'm doing. And then I actually say it out loud. I say 51 divided by three, that's set. We already know that three times 17 was 51. So, so that means that it's 17. And then 2,652 2, divided by three, we just found in our calculator is 884. Okay. <clears throat> we just double check that was um, two, six, five, two divided by three. And I got eight, eight, four. Okay. Now, the only number that's going to divide into the numerator, because I know it's, it's a prime number, is 17. So I just have to make sure that 17 doesn't go into the denominator. If 17 does not divide equally into the denominator, this is reduced completely. So let's just do 884 divided by 17 and 62. So I will divide the top by 17 and the bottom by 17. 17 divided by 17 is a one. And I just found out 884 divided by 17 is 52. So that's my final answer there, one over 52. Okay, let's look at this one, this second one, just for, just for fun. Like, <clears throat> I take the smallest, now we're doing a different problem. I'm trying to reduce 75 over 884. So I take the top number, the 75, and I prime factor it. That's um, three quarters, right? So it's three times 25, and then 25 is five times five. So I only, what we have to do to show that this is completely reduced completely is all I have to show is that five does not divide into 884, and three does not divide into 884. As soon as I see that those two numbers don't divide into 884, then we can say with confidence that this entire fraction is completely reduced. So let's try it. Does 884 
um, to 5 divided into 884. Well, just be, even before I put it into my calculator, a little trick here is that any number that is divisible by 5, and these 5 goes into it equally, will end in 5 or 0. Like, you know, 10, 15, 20, 25. All these numbers that 5 divides into equally always for land end in a 5 or a 0. And so that, that's true no matter how big and complex the number gets. If it ends, you know, in a 5 or a 0, then that number is going to be divisible by 5. And so I see that's not true for 884. It does not end at a 5 or 0. So therefore, it's not divisible by 5. So I don't even have to put it in my calculator. Just a little divisibility rule that's easy to remember. Okay, so then the next thing is I have to make sure that it's not divisible by three. So I could either put, my, put that in my calculator, 884 divided by three. Okay, I don't get an equal number. Um, so I don't get, I get, a, I mean, I mean, get a decimal answer. So that means it doesn't go in equally. So <clears throat> three, I just explained five does not go into 884 and three does not go into 884. Therefore, this, this is reduced completely. Um, <clears throat> so all I had to do to make sure this is reduced completely was prime factor the, the small number and then check all of its different prime factors and make sure they didn't go into the denominator. <clears throat> and I'm done. I'm, I'm completely reduced there. All right. Um, I hope that you found that really valuable and really helpful. Also, one more thing about when you're working with probability. Um, if you have a situation, which we've had in a few problems, where you, maybe you, you ends up being 14 divided by you know, 16 plus 5 or something, something that looks like this, be careful to do the, the addition in the denominator first because there's always invisible parentheses in the numerator and denominator of a fraction saying that you have to do all of the addition or subtraction in the bottom and or top of the denominator or all the operations, whatever there is, and get one single number in the numerator and get one single number in the denominator before you divide there. So it's 16 plus five, that's, that's 11 carried one, so it's 21. So my final answer here is 14 over 21. If I wanted to turn it to a decimal, then I would do 14 divided by 21. That's another thing that I wanna make sure that you guys understand too. You're always taking the, the numerator divided by the denominator to turn any fraction into the decimal. Right? Okay, well, I, and then let me just demonstrate here. So you would do it like this. I'm gonna write 14 over 21 as a decimal. Now do 14 divided by 21, and I would get this 0 0.66. Um, six, and that six is going on forever to probably round it off. But. All right, I hope you found that this 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 um, video really valuable. Have a great day. Bye.